Our next stop is the multi-species perspective. Feel free to bring along your pet, also known as a companion animal. Actually, no one disembarks alone, for you are all carrying microbes and parasites that are respected and welcomed on this island. A multi-species perspective acknowledges the interconnectedness and inseparability of humans and other life forms. It challenges the anthropocentrism and human exceptionalism that have marked thought for centuries. In the multi-species vocabulary, life consists of entanglements or assemblages of humans, animals, plants, landscapes, fungi, and microbes. A multi-species approach replaces a dualist ontology of human culture and technology versus nature with a more relational and shared vision. The multi-species island has an activist sensibility committed to understanding and protecting all life forms and their ecologies. This encompassing view is flourishing across the social sciences, but not yet in information science. Why is that? I believe the problem back on the mainland is that our most popular definitions of information pertain to human information phenomena, such as Michael Buckland's celebrated information as thing. Only Dr. Marcia Bates's theory of information, which takes an evolutionary perspective, is inclusive and recognizes information phenomena in other species. Her conception of information is complex and includes the communicatory sense, calls, and gestures of animals. She writes, I have long felt that to succeed in the process of developing a broadly applicable, encompassing understanding of information for our field, we must begin at the physical and biological levels and move up to the cultural, social, cognitive, and aesthetic. A pioneer and champion of the multi-species perspective in information science is Nilufar Solju. She applies a phenomenological approach and ethnographic methods to understand the information experience of multi-species families, that is, humans and their dog and cat companions. Solju's research considers documentary, social, and embodied forms of information in the many contexts of pet care and management shown in this original framework. For my part, I am constantly drawing inspiration from animals in my teaching and videos about information science. My videos recount the French documentalist Suzanne Brier's famous remark, Antelope in the wild is not a document. Over. Antelope in Azo is a document because of the ability to index and inform. I use high-flying birds to represent the meta-perspective of information science, which hovers above content. And here, leaping antelope are a metaphor for searching across information structures. Many questions remain about the implications of a multi-species perspective on information science. For sure, it enlarges our field in important and timely ways. Let's continue our archipelago adventure. Now boarding.